But once you get the key, once you get the particular key, like which is it, your normal personal token key, you just log into the account. Once you log into your dashboard, your API site, like your own normal site, once you log into it, then it works. You click on this, then you click on pricing. No, just click on the pricing to check the pricing and then make sure that yes. As you can see, you see the network now. Like you see the pricing available, the networks available, you see the pricing, then the amounts available. Then you what you check the ID, confirm the pricing ID. Sorry. Well, I did that the pricing available then now to now check the distance. You check the token key. Check the key, then you have to come to what? You have to come to developer API. Check the developer API as you can see. Here's the developer API now. You can see API documentation page. My authorization token. So here is your authorization token as the site you want to use as the API own. Here is the authorization token. There you want you have to copy the token. Copy the token. Alright, then check the ID, the network ID for the data. This is the one available for the price list for MTN. The data ID, as you can see, the data ID for MTN, net, the MTN, you can see, data ID, network, plan type. So these are the ID for the data for MTN, you can see, for SME. Then the Airtel Gifting and the likes, the nine mobile home. So you just make sure the network ID are related, like, relate, the network ID are related with the one you have on your own site. Then... You proceed to this one again. You proceed to network list, which is the network ID and then the network name. Network name ID, as you can see, just check the figure here, check the numbers here to be sure. And then you go to your own admin panel and you check it also you to be sure. Then the cable list, see the cable list here, the ID, then the cable plan list. So you check the cable plan ID and the likes. Just check all the IDs and then you log into your admin panel. Log into your admin panel of your own particular website. The admin panel of your own particular website. So here's the admin panel here. I already have it login. Then for the authorization token that we copied the other time, we have to was we have to paste it in the required space. So so just clear the one available here and then you paste it. The one you copy, you paste it here. As you can see, we already selected the site you want to use. We already selected the site you want to use, so that's what actually make it easier to use. So that's that for the general setting. Then we move to the head time setting since we are using the part single site. Then once you're done, you save. Then you move to the next one. Okay, paste. Then paste. Then we have it. Can you save? Then you move to the number one, which is the last one, which is the wallet. To be sure. So you already have it here. You already have the wallet set. We already have the wallet set here. Then we are to what? The ID. Okay, so the idea was to go to the services, then the plan, data plan. So here is where we are to set our distance. The plan ID, as you can see, we have plan, we have plan ID, we have price, we have the users, the agent, the vendor, and then the action. The action is where you want you click to edit for anything you want to edit. So the action space is where you edit. So let's edit this one as an example now, which is the one of the 500 MB one. MTN SME 500 MB. Go back to the MTN SME one. 
the one of 500 MB we have it to be 6 it has already that one is already set that one is already set then you update your prices and the likes so now that's that anything you want to add anything you want to set just do it here um services yeah do it here then authorize anything you want to set just set your id within this particular set it within this particular border then you are good to go to check your sales analysis like how far you have gone how far you have go with the selling you can check it here in the sales analysis then for you to send email or you want to send email to your client to your users then you what you input it here you you, you perform that action action here then you want to send messages to your user you send the messages here probably you want to send the notification you receive messages on your user you check it here then for you to drop a notification to your user you input the notification here and then you you update the notification here the site setting here is where you go about your site setting and the likes then for you to check your subscriber you what you check the subscriber here as well so i think that's yeah for you to manage your account you manage your account here you manage your account your username and the password and the likes so this is analysis send email so that's all that's that's everything just that's everything about the particular admin panel that's everything about the admin panel just make sure you go through everything go through the process one after the other and then you are good to go thank you for watching this video to the very end then if this is your first time of visiting this channel can you watch can you do it to hit the subscription button and then in case you need the particular script for this particular website then we are always available just hit us up on the uh, for whatsapp just into dm us on whatsapp then to get the script then we discuss further on how to go about it then if you need a website set up as well we already have available always available for any type of website either vtu website either anyone that based on fintech for vtu website being vtu website traveling agent to website businesses website any type of website you want just what even you have a business and you want to create a portfolio for your particular business don't as it, don't forget to what to chat us up on whatsapp just check the description below our whatsapp contact will get available here remember to what remember to hit the subscription button